When I was a young boy, I could not stand on my own two feet. And I used to sit by the window and watch my brothers and sisters play with the children outside in our town. Now, I so much wanted to go out and play with my brothers and sisters. You see, I had five sisters and four brothers. And they used to build a giant snowman and have a great snowball war. Well, occasionally, one of the children would make a snowball and throw it at the window. And when it hit the window, it would scare me and I would jump. And when they saw me jump, they would all laugh. Well, my father was a cobbler. Now, a cobbler makes shoes. But seeing we lived in a land that had lots of snow, he made boots. Well, one morning when I got up and went to the breakfast table, sitting by the breakfast table, leaning against the wall was a sled. And on that sled was my name down the middle. You remember, my name was Nicholas. And so I knew that sled was my sled. So I hurried and ate breakfast. My mother bundled me all up and I got, went outside on the sled. Now I could sit on the sled and I could push the sled with my hands. Well, still the children would not let me be in the big snowball war. They would not let me help build the giant snowman. So I was kind of upset when I came in the house after being outside. But I still so wanted much of the children to be my friends. So I decided that I would go and watch my father make his boots and get familiar with some of the tools. And occasionally he would let me help and use some of his tools. Well, I got pretty good with using some of his tools. So I decided that I would take my brothers and sisters broken toys and I would mend them and make them like brand new again and give them to the children of the village on their birthday. Well, my goodness, they were certainly happy to get a present like that. And it didn't take long that I ran out of my brothers and sisters toys. But then another village wanted to get involved and they let me have their broken toys. And it wasn't long before I ran out of their toys. So I had to, had to start making toys from scratch. Well, one morning I was in the, in the room with my father making toys and this knock came at the door. And this man asked for me after my mother answered the door. And I came to the door. He said, Nicholas, my daughter is very sick. And she's going to have a birthday. And she would like to have a doll for her birthday. I said, sir, I've never made a doll before. But I have, I have repaired my sister's dolls. So I said, I'll do the best I can. Well, tell you the truth, I think I made the prettiest doll you've ever seen. It came time to deliver the doll to this little girl on the other side of the mountain. Her name was Christina. And I asked my father if he would take the doll to the little girl's house. And he says, Nicholas, he says, I'm too busy making boots. I asked my mother and she says, Nicholas, I'm too busy taking care of your brother, you and your brothers and sisters and making meals. She, I asked my brothers and sisters and they just laughed at me. They said, we're having too much fun playing outside. So I had to do it myself. So I wrapped the doll all up, I bundled all up and got on my sled and took off for the other side of the mountain. I had no problem getting to the bottom of the mountain. I had no problem getting to the top. 
I had no problem getting down on the other side and making it to Christina's house. Well, I put the doll at her front door, and as soon as I turned around to head for home, it started to snow. And by the time I got to the foot of the mountain heading home, it was really snowing. I was lucky to get to the top of the mountain, and it was a blizzard when I got to the top. And I started down. And I lost control of the sled heading down. And it got going faster and faster and faster until everything went dark. I woke up and there was this most beautiful light shining. And guess what? I was standing on my own two legs. And this voice said, Nicholas, you're going to be transported to a, a new village, a land beyond Yon, and you are going to deliver new toys to all the good girls and boys, and you're going to do it in one night. Oh, I said, my goodness, how can I do this in one night? But he said, you are going to have a special gift. And I says, what is that gift? The gift you're going to have of time. You're going to have all the time you need to deliver those toys. Well, next thing I knew, I was in this land, this strange land. I was walking down this path, and all of a sudden I saw this little person heading towards me. He got close enough and he says, Hi, Nicholas. I said, Hi, how did you know my name? He says, We knew you were coming. I said, Well, what is your name? He says, My name is Ono. I'm mayor of the Elf Village. I said, village? I don't see any village. He says, well, you see those lights over there? They call those lights the Northern Lights. And our village is right behind there. And sure enough, took me through the lights and we went into the village and took me to see the elves. And when they came in, they all cheered and carried on, all except one. And he was standing in the back corner, leaning on a broom. And I said, what is his name? Because I don't think he was happy that I was there. They said his name was Go. He spells it G-O-E. I said, what does G-O-E stand for? It stands for Grouchy Old Elf. Well, uh, they showed me around, showed me to my quarters and they showed me to a special room. And up above that room was the words wish room. And I said, what is in the wish room? He said, that's all the letters from the good girls and boys. And that's the end of that story.